Hi, welcome to another Kerry Shaves and today is something just a little bit different again. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about um, brushes, um, mainly the, the ones with the Plasson style knot. Uh, so I've got three here to compare. Uh, I have the L'Occitan Plasson, which I guess is the kind of uh, original one. I also have the Razorock Plisoft and I also have the Sterling which has been dubbed the Sterling Kong. The Plisson one is a 22mm and not the Razorock is a 24 millimeter knot and the sterling is a 26 millimeter knot. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is cost. Now um, the Plisson uh, that cost me 35 pounds uh, UK pounds and you get that from kind of the L'Occitane Luxitan shops and stores uh, kind of throughout the UK and stuff. Uh, so that was £35. The Razor Rock, which is a 24mm, that one cost me from Italian Barber in the States, or is it Canada? I can't remember. Uh, that one cost me $9.99. Uh, roughly about... Um, I don't know, six, seven pounds UK, and probably uh, about another maybe three, three pounds shipping and um, postage. So, all in all, probably about about ten, ten to twelve pounds for the Razor Rock one. The oops, <laughs> nearly dropped it then. The Sterling Kong, that one cost me in the UK. I bought it in the UK. Uh, that one cost me about twenty four pounds. Uh, and about two or three pounds to, to post it out to me. So probably all in all about 26 pound. So um, L'Occitane, 35 pounds. Razor Rock, 10 to 12 pounds. Sterling, uh, around about 25, 26 pounds. So the best one for value for money, for cost and, and, and shipping and stuff, I think, is the Razor Rock uh, just great value um, and it's um, it's a, it's a lovely super soft brush as is the Plisson, the little one, and as is the Sterling. Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about is packaging. Okay, the first one I'm going to talk about packaging is the L'Occitan and it comes in this um, nice cardboard box and it's got some information on the back there and stuff like that and uh, it tells you all about the the history of Plisson and L'Occitane and stuff like that and you slide the box open and there's the brush inside now um, that's the brush there and it comes in the box with a little kind of drip stand uh, and the brush sits on it like that which is quite good you know, it's um, quite a nice little thing to have to keep your brush on to let it dry. Um, uh, that's probably what you're paying the extra money for. Um, so that comes on that. The Razor Rock comes in a white unbranded box and you open the box up and there's the brush inside and that's it you only get the brush inside the box nothing else now the only issue I had with this was um, obviously with it being shipped from um, the States when I got the brush there was kind of little I don't know if you can still there was little kind of marks obviously where the brush has been rattling about in the box and just little little marks on it, but nothing it's not going to affect the 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 purpose that the brush is going to be used for but um you know i just thought maybe 
maybe just a little bit of tissue paper or something, just a little bit of bubble wrap, just to wrap around the, the handle, um, just to keep it safe while shipping. And the last one is the Sterling brush. Again, it comes in a white unbranded box and you open the box. And the good thing about the Sterling one is it comes wrapped in this kind of soft paper. So when you take the brush out, it looks like that. And there's not a mark on it, which is, I think, just a nice little touch. Um, I think the Razor Rock brush it might have been an idea just to do that, just to kind of protect it while it's in transit and shipping and stuff. So um, I guess for the packaging, uh, well, probably, Probably the Plasson because uh, it just looks it just looks great in its little box with the stand and stuff. But I guess that's what you're paying the the extra money for. Um, yeah, I like that. I, I like the I like the, the the tissue paper with the sterling. The only thing, as I say, um, it might have been nice just to have something wrapped around this brush as well. Just a, a, even a bit of, even a bit of kitchen paper or something like that, just to just to protect it while it was in transit. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is just. Um, the durability of the brushes and how much backbone they have and um, each one of these brushes is they're so soft it's, it's absolutely incredible that's the, the Razor Rock one it just feels so so soft and really really nice to to use okay the first one here is the Plasson and as you can see I can push that kind of onto my hand without any kind of it's got a little bit of backbone in it, a little bit before it kind of splays, but not too much. And you can see it kind of bends over easily. Um, people people say that it's not much backbone in the in the plasson, but I guess it's just because of the probably because of the size of the knot. There's there's because it's only twenty two millimeters. It's not as uh, densely packed as the others. The Razor Rock brush, again, very, very soft. And as you would expect, it takes a little bit more to kind of make it splay. And the backbone on it, again, it does feel like it's got more backbone. Yeah, a, bit, a little bit more than the Plasson. Uh, and finally, the, the Sterling. Again, I can feel the backbone and that I'm having to press quite hard before it splays. And obviously because there's a lot more fibers in it, you can really feel the backbone in this one. Um, yeah. So, uh, as I say, they're all lovely to use. Uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is ease of lather. Um, I find that the Plasson, actually all three of these brushes are, are great for lathering, but some of the pucks of soap I have, like for instance if you have a Prurasso and stuff like that, they, they come in smaller pucks and sometimes the Sterling <laughs> is just massive to, to, to kind of load it. But the Plasson loads easily, Easy to load, easy to lather, feels great on the face, very, very soft. Again, some people don't like that it doesn't have as much backbone. Um, but again, it's, it's kind of personal choice. The Razor Rock, again, very, very soft, um, easy to load. I like this one again with the Prorasso, uh, loading Prorasso, it's, it, it's just a nice size and it does load very, very easily um, and it gives you a great lather. The Sterling is <laughs> a lather monster. Um, yeah, I mean a, a few, you can see because look at how many bristles are in that, it's just so dense, uh, it just eats soap for breakfast. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, the only thing I could kind of say is if you've got a lot of soaps, 
and you want to get rid of them quick and you want to buy more soaps, use the Sterling Kong because this will <laughs> get rid of your soap kind of quick and again it's so soft on the face. Some people, it might be too big for some people's face um, but it's just so easy to lather up and stuff like that. Yeah, so um, I don't know, the, the, probably the, the, the one I prefer, I like using this, I like using the Plasson as well, uh, just because it's, it's a little, yeah, it's, it's, it's easy to lather, but it's, there's not much backbone in it, which some people don't like, I don't mind it at all, but probably my favourite is the, again, the, the Razor Rock, just for the size and ease of loading if you have smaller pucks of soap. Um, yeah, I just, I love it. Uh, okay, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, the handles on these brushes. Okay, the, the, the Sterling, the Sterling and the Razor Rock are both kind of just um, molded plastic. The Sterling one fits good. It's got a, a kind of lip on the bottom there. Just let me put that down. <clears throat> it has a like a lip. It's kind of like a vase shape, I would say. Um, and your hand kind of fits in there and it is, it's easy to hold if you're lathering your face. Yeah, you, you can get a good grip on it. Um, the Razor Rock, again, if you can see the handle there, it's a, it has a little kind of groove which you can you can fit fit your hand in nicely and again easy to to hold and, and load the soap up like that or you can kind of some people prefer to put their fingers up there and do it like that. Uh, the only issue I have with the Plasson, um, I'll show you in comparison to the Razor Rock one, it's kind of roughly the same size maybe not as, as um, wide perhaps, not as chunky. But the only issue I have with this is the handle's so small and because it's it's easy to hold, it is nice to hold, but sometimes if I'm lathering um, larger pucks of soap, the soap does come onto the handle. I've got quite big hands and it does come onto the handle, the soap, and it's, it kind of makes it a bit messy and, and slippery. Uh, but I guess I'm, <laughs> maybe I'm just a, a messy pup and I just uh, I load things too much. But um, yeah, so that's the only issue I have with the Plasson, the L'Occitane Plasson, is that um, I find it just a little bit too, not too small, but it's just smaller than the other two. Smaller than the Razor Rock and smaller than the Kong. That's, that's really nice to hold. The, the, the Razor Rock one, the Plasoft, yeah, very good, very easy to hold. Uh, and the L'Occitane Plasson one, yeah, again, just a, a, a little bit small. It has a small kind of notched bit here, but um, not really much to get your, your, your thumb and your fingers around. It's okay, but um, yeah, not too bad. So, uh, what is my verdict? Uh, which one do I prefer? Which one is uh, my favourite? Well, you know what? I like them all. They've all got their little um, quirks and things that I enjoy. The, the, the L'Occitane Plasson, again, it's beautifully packaged. Not great for me holding, but really, really soft. Easy to lather, but not much backbone. But um, it's got kind of like a, I don't know, it's like wood, the handle on this. Um, a little bit more pricey than the other two. Well, actually a lot more pricey. But I guess what you're kind of paying for is the name and the, the wooden handle. It has a nice little kind of metallic brass. I don't know if it's, it's probably not brass, but um, it just looks good. It looks really nice and it's beautifully packaged. It comes with a little drip stand. But again, that's what you're paying the extra money for, is all, all that kind of stuff. I guess if you don't mind um, paying extra if you want it, if you want a good, good quality 
packaging and stuff like that. Go for the L'Occitan Plus On. The Razorock, uh, again, I love this brush because it's the value for money on this. I mean, £10, 10 to £12 UK shipped from uh, Italian Barber is fantastic value and it's, it's an excellent brush. I like the handle, I like the, the ease that it can hold. Um, it fits in my hand just perfectly. Um, again, very, very soft. Um, good backbone in it, not massively big on your face. Yeah, uh, the only issue, again, I had with that is that um, I felt that the packaging, just um, a little bit of paper would have been great in it just to just to kind of stop these marks, but I'm kind of splitting hairs here. But um, yeah, I like the Razor Rock. Uh, the Sterling, again, as I said before, if you want to get rid of your soaps, if you want to get rid of your soaps so you can buy more soaps, use this lather monster um, it's a great brush it's 26 millimeters densely packed um, I like the handle on it it's easy to hold um, feels great again really really soft um, cost yeah pretty average I would say maybe about 25 pounds which isn't too bad for what you're getting I mean it's a quality product and they're, they're all quality product but the winner for me is definitely the Razor Rock. Uh, just for value for money and it's just a great brush. I just love the handle. I think they've brought up, um, they've just, just brought out another one with a, a, a barber shop style handle, I think. Just a little bit different. Um, yeah, but um, that, that's kind of my favorite just now. Um, yeah, so there's so many brush, brushes um, to choose from these days, whether it's Badger or boar or synthetic or horsehair or um, a lot of people like the synthetics because they're easy to care for and um, they're easy to dry. Um, you can kind of just rinse them out and, and set them up and they're dry within a couple of hours. And the badger brushes and boar hair brushes take a little bit more care, but um, they perform just as well. It's kind of your personal preference. Um, I like them all. I like all these brushes. Uh, pro but probably my favourite at the moment is the Razor Rock Plus Soft, just because of the value and it's it's just a great great brush. But um, I like the Kong and I like the Plus On too. <laughs> it's so difficult deciding. Um, yeah, yeah, great brushes. So it's kind of, I guess it's kind of up to you. You can take all these uh, things, factor all these things into your decision, whether it be like uh, cost and, and packaging and, and, and stuff like that, um, or knot size. And uh, but they're all they're all very very soft brushes, kind of. Yeah, they feel this kind of the same. Very very good to use. Great. Okay, that's all for me today. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe, and uh, if you want to ask me anything, please do. Uh, I'm always happy to try and answer questions. Um, I'm quite new to DE wet shaving. Uh, I've only been shaving now for probably about um, seven weeks, something like that. Uh, but yeah, so if you're a newbie and you want to ask any questions, uh, check out my other videos. I've, I've put them all up from uh, my first uh, DE wet shave. Uh, just check them out and uh, yeah, that's all for me today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Take care.